It's important for us to have a monument like this where we can continue to recognize the achievements and the sacrifices of our fellow Marines. Long legacy in our Marine Corps to remember those valiant Marine sailors and soldiers who have come before us. Rock of Ages out in Vermont was the company that fabricated this monument. Uh, the monument itself is uh, eight feet wide, seven feet tall, weighs over seven tons and is solid granite. When we realized that the OEF monument was going to make a journey across the country from Vermont, we enlisted the help of our wonderful Patriot Guard riders who escorted this monument state by state. People cheering all along the way, saluting, and crowds gathering as the truck went from Vermont all the way to Southern California. It was absolutely beautiful when Henry and his flatbed truck and our OAF monument arrived in South Orange County, escorted by our Patriot Guard. <laughs> The cooperation with the Patriot Guard from state to state to state to state. All the PGR captains need to be commended on the job. Well done. Anybody that's on that wall, I feel like I brought them home, and this is where they need to be so they can be immortalized. Doing this it gives you more than you, than you give. We really appreciate Dave doing what he did. He rode all the way out here from Nebraska just to make sure our OEF monument as well as our driver, Henry, had a, uh, an escort, which is, you know, totally commendable. And Dave said, I'm not letting you go by yourself. He says, I'm going to go until you pick up more riders. The welcoming that I got and the generosity from everybody that I've met is more than I've ever, ever seen. We're honoring those 89 young men right there that paid the ultimate price for our freedom. It is critically important to us as our core and our regiment shifted focus from Iraq to Afghanistan that we also honor the great service and clearly the, the sacrifice of the Marines of this regiment. It's a living legacy for them and what they've achieved and it's a reminder to all of those that are serving on active duty today what level of commitment we must live up to. The day was finally here for the monument to come to Camp Pendleton to the 5th Marine Memorial Park. It was an early start. Patriot Guarders revved their engines and then escorted the truck all the way to the gates of Camp Pendleton.
Henry. All right, thanks for, uh, for giving pleasure. us an honorable escort and taking My good pleasure. care of her on the way out here. And the, uh, for the Patriot Guard, thanks as always for, for doing what you do. See the monument roll in here with you all escorting here was, uh, was touching. From those of us in uniform to those who uh, were previously in uniform, thank you very much for doing that. We wanted this to be a restful spot, a, a, a peaceful spot where Marines, sailors, and their families could come for ceremonies, could come for memorials. It was a beautiful sight to see all of the Gold Star families, those who had lost a father, a son, a brother, all gather for a brief moment together and then make their way into the memorial park. More and more and more people came. It was such a huge group of people who wanted to come and witness the unveiling of the Operation Enduring Freedom Monument. The Memorial Park is more than just a place where we remember our fallen comrades. It's also a place where we celebrate life. Today is just such a very, very proud day for our support group. The vision has become a reality of the Operation Enduring Freedom Monument. We joined with a lot of generous Fighting Fifth supporters and also adoptive cities and the monument you see behind me is, will be an enduring tribute to those fallen in action. After hearing General Kelly's remarks that are so heartfelt with the loss of his son and, and Colonel Turner's remarks addressed to all of those who fight. We're honored to be able to help in some small way to be part of this special celebration of lives. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Colonel Turner, with the assistance of General Kelly and Terry Ripken, will conduct the memorial in The memorial will be seen before you it will be dedicated in honor of the Marines and sailors that have been the ultimate sacrifice serving an operation for this year. My great opportunity to be able to address you today as we dedicate the monument to the fallen from Operation Enduring Freedom. This monument and the Iraq monument that's to my right. Uh, in this great park that we're sitting in here, were made possible by generous donations 
and support from individuals, support groups in the cities of South Orange County. For the Marines and sailors whose names are on this monument, uh, you know, San Mateo and, and 5th Marines, was this was their home. You know, these units that are represented on this monument, they're the same ones that stopped the Germans outside of Paris in World War I. The same that captured and held Guadalcanal in World War II against all odds. The same that went over the seawall at Incheon, that stormed Way City and marched to Baghdad. And last, I'd like to thank the Patriot Guard riders who are here, uh, some of us, who, some of whom are with us here today. And just last month, they escorted this monument all the way across country, all the way from Vermont, and handed it off state by state, and, and brought it here to this, this place in, uh, in really a fine fashion. We're just blessed uh, to have such tremendous support and supporters here that make all this possible and allow us to remember these fine Marines and sailors who have uh, died fighting for our country. So uh, God bless you all. Thanks for all, all that you do for the 5th uh, Marines. Thank you. Never forget your buddies that never made it home. Remember them for the heroes they are, for the commitment they made, for the price they paid. Pray for the families and their loved ones and their friends. Your moms and dads, sisters and brothers, spouses and friends of the fallen, I am sorry. To the bottom of my own broken heart, I am sorry. I hope your wonderful sons, now gone, help you find the same answer to the questions I know are in your hearts as well. I just wish all of our Marine bases around the Marine Corps world had the same level of commitment that uh, the Camp Pendleton Marines enjoy uh, with Dana Point, with Laguna Hills, with Oceanside. I mean, it's just. It's just a, a tremendous um, indicator of the kind of people that are here. And it's not just raising money for memorials. Uh, it's just all of the things you do and the units come and go. And obviously, when we have events like this to uh, the Gold Star families. So uh, thanks so very much for doing what you do and all the support you give us.